In this brief video, you'll see the entire process for applying the APV Equal Roof Coating System, which consists of properly selecting and preparing a roof, making any necessary repairs, applying the elastomeric acrylic base coat, and finally, applying the Kynar Aquatec base top coat. In this demonstration, we'll apply APV Equal Roof to an asphalt roof, but this system can also be applied to PVC, modified bitumen, EPDM, gravel roofs, metal, concrete, and polyurethane foam systems. Always be sure to follow APV guidelines on surface preparation and application for the specific type of roofing material in your project. The first step in surface preparation is actually identifying whether an existing roof is a good candidate for applying e-cool roof. What we're looking for in a, a good candidate for this product is the roof net has to be structurally sound. It cannot be leaking. We don't want any areas where the water is ponding on the roof. Every successful project begins with the proper safety equipment. When working on areas near roof edges, always use an appropriate safety harness. Personal protective items can also bring added safety and comfort to the job. You definitely want a pair of sunglasses. The reflectance just off the base coat alone uh, is blinding. So you definitely want to wear uh, eye protection. Safety glasses, safety sunglasses would be great. Uh, you want to probably wear a suit so you don't get overspray on you uh, and a respirator. Although eCool Roof is water-based and low in VOCs, always make sure to apply the product in a well-ventilated area while wearing a NIOSH-approved respirator. Proper cleaning of the roof surface is a critical step to ensure adhesion. Begin with a low pressure wash using TSP or a TSP substitute and rinse completely with clean water. Mildew should be removed by treating the area with a solution of chlorine bleach and water. Be sure to remove all loose debris such as leaves, sticks, gravel, rust, and sand. Here's another example of loose debris that needs to be cleaned off of a roof. These are all granules from this rolled asphalt roofing that have just worn off over time. All of this has to be cleaned. After cleaning, allow the roof surface to dry completely for one to three days. When the surface is fully dry, an adhesion check is a good way to make sure the surface is ready to properly receive the elastomeric acrylic base coat. Coat a small area with material, then add a thin mesh strip and apply more base coat on top of the strip. When dry, pull the mesh strip back. If the coating has proper adhesion, the mesh should have a solid resistance to your pull. Any areas of damage, peeling, or cracking on the current roof surface must be repaired and sealed. Bubbled areas where the roof surface has detached are common. Cut the loose material open to begin the resealing process. We're cutting both sides of this so we can actually open this up. Make sure there's no moisture under there. Actually, this one looks pretty good. It's pretty dry in here. If there was moisture in here, what we'd want to do is get this all dried out. Uh, we can use compressed air to dry it, uh, take towels, sop it up, but we just need to make sure that all the moisture is out of there. So when we put the adhesive in here to glue this back down, uh, it's, we're going to get a good bond. Everything's going to hold. Make sure to apply sealant as far back into the crevice as possible. Then use a generous amount to fill the center of the opening. Then you can just kind of push everything back into place here, pressing everything down. And take your adhesive again and then go over these seams that you had cut. Then take a putty knife and we just, we're, what we're doing here is just flattening this out. What we're trying to do is make a sloped surface so we don't have any ponding water or where water can sit in any of this. Cracks and seams larger than 1 8 inch should be sealed with elastomeric or roofing caulk and allowed to completely cure before applying the base coat. As with all other repairs, be sure to shape the sealant with a slope to shed water. You'll notice I've got some low spots in here where actually water could sit. I'm just going to pump a little bit more of the sealant in there. Fill that up. Pull it down on both sides so we're, we're actually kind of humped up here so no water can sit down in there. After cleaning, sealing, and making sure the surface is fully dry, you're ready to begin the base coat application. Mask off edges, trim work, or any other areas you wish to protect from overspray by using masking tape and plastic or paper covering. To prepare the base coat for spraying, use a power mixer to stir each container a minimum of five minutes, making sure to thoroughly blend all product that may have settled to the bottom. 
Once the material has been thoroughly mixed, I'm going to show you how to set it up. Uh, we're going to be putting this coating on with an airless sprayer. Uh, today I've got a 48 to 1 ratio sprayer. So the first thing we want to do is we've got the suction hose in the elastomeric itself and we're going to slowly turn on the pump. I do not have any spray tip on the end of the gun right now. I'm just going to pull the trigger, slowly regulate the pump up. But right now the material is being brought up through the pump. I've got a, a hundred foot of hose on today that we're going to be spraying this roof with. When the pump is primed and the material is flowing smoothly, you're ready to install the spray tip. In this demonstration, the size of the spray tip for the base coat application is 23 thousandths. Start with a low pressure setting. Do several test passes, adjusting the pressure higher each time until you have eliminated the tails or the heavier stripes visible at the edge of your spray path. When you achieve a consistently solid spray pattern, the optimum pressure has been reached. Setting the spray pressure any higher can result in excessive overspray and wasted product. What we want to do to start applying the elastomeric is a couple things. The spots that we repaired uh, in the repairs of the roof, we want to pre-coat these with the elastomeric uh, to guarantee that we've got a nice good coating on there. And then uh, when we do the final coat, it will get covered again. So we will be coating these and we will be coating the perimeter all through here and then we'll just come up and fill this in. The APV Equal Roof Base Coat should be applied at a thickness of 15 to 30 mils wet. Perform a test spray using your consistent speed and spray technique. Then use a mill gauge to properly ensure coating level, in this case 25 mils wet. Pre-coat any repaired spots, cut in the edges, and finish by filling in the center areas of the roof. Hard to reach spots and areas needing special attention may be coated using a brush or roller. The equal roof base coat should be applied with an air temperature above 55 degrees Fahrenheit and at least 5 degrees above the dew point. Do not apply when precipitation is expected within 24 hours or when temperatures are expected to drop below 35 degrees Fahrenheit. When applying the base coat, overlap your spray pattern by 50% to ensure solid coverage. Any areas that appear thin may be recoated immediately, and small cracks or seams that appear may be sealed with an additional coat. Cleanup is simple. Use plain water to flush the pump, hoses, and spray tips. Wipe down any overspray from equipment if necessary. After the base coat is dried for 24 to 48 hours, you're ready to apply the Kynar Aquatec based top coat. This is the most critical component of the APV Equal Roof System enabling the 20-year long-term protection results and the 10-year sustained reflectivity performance. Follow the same procedures that apply to the base coat regarding setup for the pump, sprayer, and pressure settings to avoid trailing edges. The most significant difference to note is the film thickness, which is required to be between 5 and 13 mils wet. Again, spray a test area and check the thickness with a mill gauge to ensure accurate results. The Kiner Aquatec based top coat should be applied to a clean and dry surface, completely free of any condensation or moisture. Note that after curing for 24 to 48 hours, the elastomeric base coat may have a tacky or grippy feel. This is normal. Remove any dirt or debris with a blower to ensure a clean surface. Begin the top coat application by spraying edge and trim areas first. Next, fill in the center areas by spraying rows in the opposite direction you applied the base coat. As yesterday when we applied elastomeric, we want to change direction now and go perpendicular when we're spraying that. That'll just ensure a nicer, even coating on the top coat. Trim and touch-up areas may be applied with a brush or roller. Cleanup for the Kynar Aquatec based top coat is as simple as flushing and rinsing with clean water. This product is really easy to apply, both the elastomeric base coat and the top coat. It's very simple. The APV E-Cool Roof with Kynar Aquatec coating system reduces CO2 greenhouse emissions, lessens urban heat island effect, and slows the rate of global warming on a scale that's revolutionary in the roofing industry. By applying the product, you're helping your customers save the environment and save energy. At APV Engineered Coatings, we're changing the standard for cool roofing with the highest in energy savings. To learn more about the APV E-Cool Roof coating system, visit equalroof.com or call 330-773-8911.